<laughs> now, um, so these were not uh, colored, but now mm -hmm. by adding color. How do you add the color? Well, I use acrylic painting. Okay. And this is acrylic painting. Okay. Actually, this is a, a reproduction because it um, original is gone. Yes. Yes. So this one has a dynamic um, background. Hmm. It's not solid background. Hmm. So it does some. It kind of relates to the foreground, and it gives some kind of depth. I do you think. prefer working in the color now, or do you, what do you like? Um, both. You like both? Yes, yeah. yes. But um, black and white gives the maximum optical illusion. Ah. So people who like to feel dizzy, yeah. <laughs> um, it's just a personal preference, but they tend to like black and white. Sure. Yes. Most extreme and... Yes. People like to feel dizzy, I guess. <laughs> some people do, but some people do not. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Just like some people drink and some people don't drink. And, and if you're drinking, you better not look at your art. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, nice. This, one. this is also reproduction. Um, somebody bought it, too. And um, so I made this um, with an image of spring where um, uh, fresh greens pop out of ground. Mm. So I meant to be this um, plant and the soil. Does this have a name? I does, it doesn't have a name. I mean, I make so many pieces, yeah. so I used to number them, yeah. but it was even worse. Yeah. It got more confused. I, I couldn't find anything, yeah. or sometimes That's I got funny, 202 and 205, sometimes they look the same. Yeah. So I kind of gave up. You, you really do this a lot, don't you? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Is it, you know, I can't uh, believe I did it because it must be insanity, you know? Well, I, th I think <laughs> it's more therapy in your case. Is it therapy, do you think? Because it's so, is it relaxing to you? Um, or it seems nerve-wracking to me, but is it relaxing to you? Yeah, I'm going to explain to you later in okay. detail about this um, relaxation <laughs> and meditation part of this art. Okay. And this one? Ah, the window, the eye. Yes, but um, um, men uh -oh. see a uh, certain yeah, yeah, thing well. in this. <laughs> <laughs> Not going and there. And they get very excited <laughs> with this. <laughs> the big seller. Yeah. <laughs> that's, so. that's mysterious. Yes, this is mysterious. And, yeah. uh, you know, it, 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 it reminds me of somebody peeking out of a curtain. Yes, yes. For sure. But after I heard so much from men, I, I can't really... <laughs> yeah, really. Now, did we have the last one there, or do we... Is yeah. there any more? Yes, this one. Another one? Okay. Just to show what um, color can do, this looks almost like wood. Yes. But it's just a paper, see? Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. No. And so behind us. Yes. Um, let's start with the one on the end. Mm -hmm. This one over here, which is kind of maybe similar to your beginning ones, or yes, more waves. Yes, yes but um, be, because because it's bigger, it gives more uh, three-dimensional effect. Yes. Yes. yes it's um, definitely uh, very big. Uh huh. So. Um, what size is that? 24 by 30 or so, something like that maybe? 24 by 36? Uh, yes, Good yes. Good size. It, yes, yes. But now, to me, it would seem like it would be harder doing a larger piece. Well, the thing was, uh, when I expanded to a uh, larger scale, I spent about six months uh, testing out the equipment that can do this because the pen didn't work. No? I, I even tried medical equipment like a syringe, and uh, I even talked to my friend who is a nurse to bring some e equipment, and then none of them really worked. I'm a little confused. Why wouldn't they work? You, you have to. Why? Well, wouldn't? because brush, um, you know, you, you cannot really feed so much the brush. So you so have the to brush do it all at one time, is what you're saying? Yes, you yes. You have to do a stroke all at right, one time. Right, right. I see. Oh. And the brush doesn't hold that much of paint, yes. and it gets thinner at yeah, the end of the line. True. That's true. So it doesn't. You know, so I finally discovered uh, this um, secret brush. I didn't realize that you had to do it all at one time. Yes, yes, of course. Hmm. 
And, and so after I found this uh, tool, I had to practice and improve the technology. It was really more of like engineering. So would you art. consider that to be illegal to, <laughs> to piece it? You know, if you ran out and you got more paint and, and applied it where it left off, that would be illegal? That, no, it's not <laughs> illegal, but it does not give a continuous line. Uh, so it would be brighter in some spots and thinner. Right, it wouldn't be right. even. Oh. It would take forever to correct those. Mm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. So uh, I'm very attracted of what you brought today. I'm, I'm most attracted to the red one here. Uh -huh. um, what, what would this be? I mean, I, I don't want to guess. I'm going to let you tell me what it is. <laughs> it feels like a like sunset or something. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. And maybe reflecting to the water. Yes. But the other day, uh, somebody came and then he said, uh, excuse me, um, is there any uh, like a red circle here? Because he couldn't, after he saw my um, in optical illusion art, he couldn't believe his own eyes that there is another red circle huh. on the left side. <laughs> it, it reminds me of like the energy from the sun moving and waving. Mm -hmm. You know how everything waves when you yeah, look at the, yeah. you see the wavy lines? Mm -hmm. That's what that reminds me of. Mm -hmm. Now, was this any... It, harder because you know you definitely have more wiggly lines in that circle uh, and the others are not so putting those extra bumps and stuff uh, would that is that harder to do it's not harder but it makes uh, some mess in that um, you know ramen noodle looking uh, region so I have to correct it mm. compared to other simpler ones that seems but like that would be harder this is um, the th third one that I made I, I saw the two already. So, wow. so you don't uh, you you do make prints, but um, yeah, not too. I, I, I um, yeah, I don't make that much of a print. Yeah, huh. that's very nice. And the one behind me? Yes, those are two. Um, I call it unidentified floating object <laughs> UFO. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very good. Very so good. So the, the those four corners are all carved. And very yes. very nice. So that's got a lot of movement in there. Mm -hmm. so. Yes, so, uh, so people come and then they think there is something behind it. So about half of people tr touch it and make sure huh. that um, there is nothing going on. Well, you've got some interesting people that visit and, and you. And then so many people go to the side of the uh, painting to see what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> and then you look to see uh, how much beer do they have. So I have to turn it and just show them the back side so, so that, you know, they wouldn't be so frustrated to know. Hmm, that's, that's <laughs> interesting. And this one over here? Yes, that's the um, yeah, same thing, but just... Uh, um, different color and the dynamic, again, dynamic uh, background. But it looks like it would be so hard to keep them from actually touching. I mean, it really looks like they're touching when it, when it gets to the wave portion. So that mm -hmm. must be so difficult to not do that. <laughs> yes, but I've been doing it for a um, few, uh, since 2005. So it's a lot of practice. Yes. Practice makes perfect, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have some larger works. We have some pictures uh, we're going to see now. I think there's about six of them mm -hmm. coming yes, up. Yes, yes. Okay.